What's up YouTube? So we have another customer here with a GM 2.4 Ecotec engine that's consuming oil. And I said the telltale signs of this is that your oil cap, right? So if you're spilling oil constantly, we know you're in there regularly. If your crankcase is pressurizing, it's pushing oil out of here and here also. So Caleb is in the process of tearing this down. And uh, uh, I'm going to give you the prescription to... Uh, What's going on? So this guy told me that, and I, and I probably believe him, that he's had spark plugs done and VVTs done. I will tell you, this looks older than this. This is fairly new. This is new. I can't tell what the conditions are in the spark plug holes, nor can I tell you if the micro screens are clogged with sludge or metal. That all requires more diagnostic time. You can see the throttle body hasn't been cleaned. Um, we're going to actually take care of that when we're modifying the intake. So here's what I want you to do if you're chasing this down. And it's not your fault, and it is your fault. The manufacturers are, are not recommending the proper maintenance intervals for all engines. So this engine at 15,000 miles should have had a GDI service, a fuel injection service, um, PCV system inspected, cleaned, and cleared, which is very labor intense. Um, at 30,000, 60,000, so on and so forth. So oil changes no later than 5,000 and as soon as 3,000. Throw everything else that you know out the window that someone's chirped in your ear that you don't have to do. You have to do this nowadays. So what I want you to do is uh, an oil change with a motor flush. Try and get the sludge and carbon and sticky gooey stuff off the valves. Um, loosen up the rings because they stick and consume oil. Um, so it was oil change, motor flush, GDI service, fuel injection service, replace your spark plugs, pull your intake manifold, inspect your PCV breather tube, clean and clear here, make sure it's clean in the valve cover, pull the intake manifold off, inspect for the uh, PCV port to be clogged or plugged. If it is, clean, clear, uh, then spray it to make sure that the spray pattern's going through each intake port, one, two, three, four. Uh, drill the hole in the intake manifold a little bit bigger so you got all that. Um, and then you wanna stay on top of early oil change intervals. If your time and chain's rattling, you're gonna need a time and chain. If your time and chain's rattling and your engine's burning oil, you have multiple issues. Chances are you're on the verge of engine replacement. Um, but you could still take the more affordable option is try and save it, even though the time and chain's rattling and it doesn't have time and chain codes, um, you could still drive that car and minimize the uh, oil consumption. If the timing chain's rattling on start and goes away, uh, keep in mind that your timing is off. Um, and then once it stops rattling, your timing is not so off, but that is uh, over advancing or retarding the timing, which is ruining your catalytic converter, your exhaust manifold. If your engine continually runs low on oil and you're not on top of it, and I'm saying a quart or two quarts, you're starving uh, delicate components in your system that are uh, operated by hydraulic oil pressure here which is your vvts and then you have the phasers uh, so there's a lot going on so spark plugs motor flush oil change fuel injection service gdi service uh, throttle body service pcv modification cleansing clean um, and spark plugs if i didn't say that and this is way cheaper than it is to replace the engine on this and if you put a used engine in you're only buying the same neglected crap that someone has done previously to this i guarantee it um, so service your engine oil sooner than later um, and you won't be in for all these these headaches i promise you thanks for watching